Dean on the scene for the Rogers Review, the RogersReview.com and 96.7 FM WERA Radio Arlington. And here with me is one of the co-founders of this establishment. He needs no introduction. This is the wonderful Jimmy Smith. How are you doing, Jimmy? I'm good, man. Thanks so much for having me here. Thanks for so much for Thank coming you. back. This has been another year for us. Yeah, so tell good. us, what has happened since we last met with Matt Smith in 2016? We're in here in 2017. What has happened to the National Hispanic Foundation for the Arts since we last met? Well, another year for us. We're celebrating another year of accomplishments in terms of our scholarships. But this year, this year is what we're going in like 21st year, but it's also 9-11 today. Uh, well, I don't know when you guys are going to see this, but today is 9-11 and it's, it's been a kind of somber day. And to me, it's been a very reflective day because of what's been happening in terms of the natural disasters around our country. Uh, in Latin America and Mexico, you know, whether it be earthquakes or yeah. hurricanes and stuff. And it's put a lot of things in perspective about how people come together in good times and sad times, too. Absolutely. We're, we're in a situation where the arts are under assault in a lot of ways. Yes, they are, especially considering that earlier this year, the administrator wanted to cut funding for the arts. Absolutely, absolutely. We're, and our, our budget, compared to other countries, like Great Britain, they spend so much more money than we do on the arts, mm -hmm. uh, for, in terms of like the population and stuff. But yeah, the first thing to go in terms of schools, cut the arts programs. Yeah. So. I just think that with all of this somberness that I'm, all of the somberness that I'm talking about yeah. in terms of the day and what's going on, it's a time to kind of reflect and refocus in terms of what we have to do as citizens. Now, I'm trying to do a little part here by helping out with these scholarships and stuff like that, but I'm talking about more than that. I'm talking about the viewers out there yes. and people who listen to you on the radio, that they, you can do more not only during times of disaster when it's, you, obviously you want to help people out, mm -hmm. but in times like political times like these, when, when a lot of things are being suppressed, it's, it's up to us to try to do something. And that's how, that's what actually changes the political landscape. Absolutely. So what do people like me and our listeners and our viewers out there have to do to keep fighting for the arts? Because it is important to us, whether you're in the largest community or the smallest community, no matter what background you come from, why is it important that we have to continue to fight for the arts? Because it's part of our, it's part of our natural, our national fabric. It's, it's part of the tapestry of what this country is and to see all parts of this country. The arts are reflective of those kinds of things. You can learn history through the arts. I mean, Hamilton is the best example of that. Absolutely, yeah. How these young people have created this thing where they're teaching history, but they're relating on different levels to, to our young people and to any audience member that comes to see it. I mean, that, that to me is like genius on so many levels, but, and it's out there. It's out that we have we have it in us to do to do this more and more. No doubt about it. So, for those of us who are not here, who is here tonight? Tell us about it. Who's here tonight? Yeah. You mean like you want me to name drop? Oh yeah, definitely name drop here. Right there to my right is Isai Morales. Oh yes. Who is a wonderful actor? Who is one of the founders of this organization? And you two were on How to Get Away with Murder, and you two are presidents of the United States. Yeah, that's true. We actually. Especially the person right that. behind you, right. Benito Martinez. The gentleman right here behind me. <laughs> Benito Martinez, super super talented actor. Yes, he is very talented. Yes. <laughs> so you don't things like this. You don't. You, you think people just come out of nowhere? This guy, he was trained in the Royal Academy in London. Mm -hmm. He's like a stage martial artist, can oh, do yes. choreography, classics, and how to get away with murder. Exactly. Jimmy, it is a pleasure interviewing, talking to you again. Good to see you again.